two, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. My name is Dave Stevens, along with my partner, Mike Steele. Thanks, Dave. I'm particularly excited for today's matchup. I just have a feeling that it's going to be a special game. That is without a doubt. Let's see how things develop today. Day boots it. The kick is caught at the four-yard line. The offense will begin the drive from the 25. Then hike. Screen pass near the sideline. Brought down. That brings up second down. to number seven. Third down. Third down. So he drops back. Green on the reception. That'll be enough for the first down. First down. <laughs> Drops back. Throws the ball. Forced out of bounds. That gets us to second down. A five defensive back set for Philadelphia. The D-line slides over. Sit he up. drops back, fakes the handoff. Sight makes a nice catch. He's taken down. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. That's a great pitch and catch for the first down. Sit up. He won't make it very far before being dragged down. Back near the 10-yard line. Second down. That brings us to the end of the first quarter. Still waiting on our first score of the game. Steps into the pocket, makes the throw, grabbed out of the air by number 17. That gets us to third down. Another blown assignment like that, and the defender will be looking for a new job. He drops back to pass, play action. That brings up fourth down. Out comes the field goal unit. There's the kick. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 24 yards out. Green Bay with the first score of the game. Three, nothing. Sometimes we overlook the field goal, but how many games do we see won by three or fewer points? Fielded at the six-yard line. Tackled after a return of 14. The home team has to feel good about where they are. They're down by a single score and are in control of what happens next. Tonight. The runner steps out of bounds up at the 40-yard line. That will bring up first down. Back-to-back -back first downs really has an impact on the crowd, too. Extending the play. Mullen makes a nice catch. 
That will bring up second down. It's important for quarterbacks to have a nice repertoire Omaha, of passes. Omaha. That was a great example of a bullet pass. Yes. They're changing things up at the line. He can't make the catch. Rockets one. He safely steps out of bounds. That will bring up first down. The whiteout wasn't too quick to give that pass up. For a second, you wonder if it wasn't just embedded into his hands. Extending the play. And it's caught for a touchdown. Unbelievable. That's the kind of play I'd expect to see only in a video game. The kick is up. It's good. Philadelphia moves into the driver's seat. Seven, three. Elite teams don't give up leads, Dave. If the defense wants to establish itself as a contender in the Axis League, then they need to get it together. Taken at the seven-yard line. The away team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. The Axemen will begin the drive from the 28. <laughs> Burke drops back. He tucks it and runs. Go. Burke steps back into the pocket. Complete to number 83, Green Bay will use one of their timeouts here. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Back to pass, throws the ball. He's tackled. Green Bay will use their second timeout here. That brings up second down. Tosses the ball past the first down marker. Third down. Steps back into the pocket. Green Bay will call their third and their final timeout here. And that's enough for a first down. That's a well-executed pass for the first down. Go! Burke back to pass. Grabbed out of the air by number seven. That will bring up second down. Second down and short. The secondary shifts back. Steps into the pocket. He tosses one up beyond the first down. That will bring up first down. With that first down, the QB gets a bit more comfortable, which really helps his confidence going forward. Go! Kennedy kicks it up. It's good! They convert from 38 yards out. Green Bay closes the gap a bit. Seven, six. The away team pulls it into a one-score game there. Fielded at the four. 
Makes the return up to the 20-yard line. This drive coming up is a good chance for the offense to give themselves a bit of breathing room. That'll wrap things up for the second quarter. Philadelphia with the edge so far. 7-6. The kick's away. Taken at the 4. Dodging the defender. Tackled after a return of 13. Emma Adams has a report for us down on the sideline. Emma, what's your news? Dave, Mike, I spoke briefly with the coach for Philadelphia during the break. He said he wasn't too worried about the score heading into the half and that the mistakes his team made were fixable. He finished by saying it's still anyone's game and they're looking forward to getting back onto the field. Touchdown! Number 23 really turned on the Jets once he hit the secondary. The rest is history. Here's the kick. It's good. Philadelphia widens the gap a bit with that score. 14-6. We aren't seeing perfect drives here, Dave. But again, we see points on the board. Day kicks it. Fielded at the four-yard line. And he's brought down after a return of 25. Let's see what the offense can do with this drive. I'm sure they'd love to go down and put an end to this lead they're facing. The Axemen will start from the 28. Go! That gets us to second down. The defensive backs adjust their coverage back. Uh -huh. He steps back to pass. Doesn't seem to be... It's a fumble! He's tackled. Good enough for a first down. Receiver gets up with a big first down motion. Pretty sure the defense have seen enough of that already. Go! That gets us to second down. He sends one, and he's forced out. First down. Hike. He turns it upfield. He hands it to the runner. Tackled near the line, up near the 18-yard line. That'll wrap things up for the third quarter. The Express leading 14-6. That will bring up first down. That was a great run there to pick up the first down. Hike. He hands it to the runner. He hands it to number seven. That brings up third down. Third and goal. The secondary shifts back. Hey. 
Park. Bang! Takes the handoff. That'll bring up fourth down. That's a smart play call. You were in a bad position on third down. Take a few yards and live to fight another day. A penalty flag on the field. Green Bay takes the penalty. So many penalties are just mental mistakes. marker on the play. Philadelphia accepts the penalty. Traditional wisdom puts the blame for penalties on the coaches. Fourth and goal. <laughs> the pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Fourth down stops like that can really change the momentum in a game. It's basically like forcing a turnover. Go! Pitching it off to number 23. Green Bay will call their first time out here. First down. That was a great run there to pick up the first down. Green Bay calls their second timeout, and that's enough for a first down. Well, that's one way not to worry about converting on third down. Just get it done on the first down. <laughs> the quarterback decides to run, and he's forced out up near the 48. Check West. Wow. West. Appears to be changing the play. Sit up. Wow. Makes the handoff. Green Bay uses their last timeout. That's a well executed run to move the chains. Go. The handoff is taken by number 23. off is taken by number 23 first down first down Looking downfield, and he's off. Second down. Lining up with two tight ends. The runner breaks free. Excellent footwork on that run to pick up the first down. First down and goal. Omaha. Brown Omaha. is changing the play Break. at the line of scrimmage. He takes it. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown. I love to see that kind of confidence in your offensive line. Hand it off and let him lead the way into the end zone. Huh. Day makes the kick. It's good. Philadelphia widens their lead, 21-6. You see the defense almost motion to clear some room on the bench. These guys are getting winded. Day boots it. Grant takes the kick. 
tackled after a return of 22. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready to drive the ball down the field. Go! He makes the throw out to the sideline. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. A lot of great performances today, Mike. Who do you have as the stud of the game? For me, it's got to be number 23 for the home team. He clearly was the most influential player of the game. 